What's going on, Vigil Gamers? It's the Vigil Player here, and today we have the exotic auto rifle, the Monte Carlo. For all of you PlayStation players, uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, you guys have already had the pleasure of using this gun in year one, but in year two, this gun got some buffs, and it is amazing now. <clears throat> Everybody, um, all you guys know, pretty much know uh, how this gun performs. It's a high rate of fire, lower impact auto rifle, but the range, stability, reload, and magazine are all in really, really good spots. This thing is a, a really stable, actually, for for um, uh, for the stability that it does have. It feels like it has way more stability than um, than what than what the stat actually says. So we're gonna get it started with these first uh, initial perks or whatever. Normally they're scopes, but in this one they're not scopes. Uh, some of you guys might might roll with smart drift control. But I go with aggressive ballistics because I want that extra impact. I, I need that extra impact in my life with these uh, lower impact auto rifles. And hip fire, I wish I actually used this a little bit more, but I'm normally always aiming down sights. That's just how I play. It's it's very hard. It's it's weird in Destiny to hip fire, but you know it, it's it's useful if you if you're into that. Higher caliber, high caliber rounds. I don't really use that, especially since Send It is on this gun in. In this game, in, in Destiny Year 2, you absolutely need more range, so Send It is pretty much a must-have. Well, I can't say a must-must-have, but for me, it's a must-have. I need, I need range, and Send It gives it to you. And then Monte Carlo Method, the last little perk. Dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully recharge your melee ability with each kill. So, this gun is, is really, really helpful for any... Uh, for any class, any character, if you like, with the melees, all all melees are pretty uh, pretty useful, uh, especially when things get a little too up close and personal, which is bound to happen with these auto rifles. They have a very uh, they, they, you got to be close with them. You don't have to be, but you're gonna be close with them uh, a lot of the times, especially with the way shotgunners just run up to you and things like that. And uh, I guess the main question I'm gonna have to ask is, is this gun good? And for anybody that has been playing this in year two of Destiny, you guys already know this gun is really good. This gun is a is an absolute beast. Uh, I can't say anything about it for year one because I did not play it in year one. Like I said before, it was a PlayStation exclusive for year one. But now that Xbox has it and we got it and it's all buffed out and whatnot, I am absolutely in love with this gun. And on top of just being a beast, a complete bullet hose at your enemies, it is a sexy gun. I love the sleek white look and the bayonet at the end of it. The only thing I really wish is that the bayonet did something more. Like I, I wish that the exotic perk on this gun did something with that bayonet and it used up your melee or something like that. It used your melee ability to use the gun's melee ability and it was like extra range or some shit like that. or. I don't know, maybe you throw the gun at somebody, like, Borderlands style. I don't know, man. I just think it would be really cool to add if they added that into the, the factor when making this gun. Maybe they did have that idea, but they just couldn't come through with it, or they thought it was cheesy, whatever they came up with. I don't know. All I know is that this gun is super sleek, super sexy, and it is a beast. Now, um, now don't get me wrong, it's a beast only if you're shooting at the head, shooting people directly in the face. Uh, if you're getting body shots with this, it's not going to be as useful as uh, Vanilla Destiny was with auto rifles. Uh, I feel like headshots just give you way more rewards now than ever. I know that uh, when Destiny first came out and auto rifles were a thing and they were all around the crucible and everything like that, uh, body shots would do it. You know, body shots would do it with a couple little headshots thrown in there uh, or whatever. But right now, I'd have to say, aim for the head with any auto rifle. Aim for the head. You miss the head? Oh well. But, I mean, the, the head Heavy shots will, will drop people with any auto rifle. I just thought maybe I should add that in there. But yes, this gun, I believe this gun is good. Let me know what you guys have experienced with this gun. Is this, is this your thing? Or, do you, or you're not into this? Uh, you might not be into this auto rifle very much. Uh, especially, I would, I would probably 
think that a lot of PlayStation players aren't into this auto rifle, just seeing as how much uh, bad bad reviews it's gotten during year one for the uh, PlayStation players. But in year two, man, I, I really like this gun. I really like the way it performs. And uh, and I hope you guys like like it as well. If you guys don't haven't really tried it out, or if you guys have been uh, kind of off on the idea of auto rifles, especially seeing as how they got a buff, but they're still like the pulse rifles and the scout rifles are probably better than auto rifles as a whole. But if you guys haven't picked this gun up and uh, tried it out, I definitely suggest uh, picking up this gun, trying it out. Just remember to aim for the head and don't let the shotgunners get close to you like you just saw right there all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this review this has been the vidge player i'll see you guys in the next one peace Only five minutes left. Heavy ammo on the way. Heavy ammo available. Finish them. You've shown your might, Guardian. Well fought. <laughs> 